everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're checking out the September 24th or 23rd, depending on what day it is for you. We're checking out those patch notes in Rocka. Let's get into it. Um, we've got the new season, season 14, Aurora. Um, brand new content, Alliance in quick match and ranked mode below the Asura rank. When teammates leave the battle early in multiplayer team, the last remaining player may use the Alliance tag in the bag page to join forces with other, and it costs 75 hundred dark tie coins if you want to um do that the alliance must be initiated before the fifth shadow each player can initiate at most one alliance per match an alliance feature is disabled when fewer than four teams are left in the match when you are in the realm of yang the alliance process will be paused when the realm of yang ends it will resume when an alliance is completed you will exit the ultimate state if you are in one and when you successfully activate an alliance any active bounty protection valiant challenge relating to you or your alliance member will be canceled okay allows alliance up to two heroes so you can't do a full team again it only just gives you one extra person i see i see i see that's interesting it doesn't seem as op then um new event we have alchemy trials from the 24th to october 16th during the event, earn sparks by opening stashes. In survival mode, sparks are also obtainable through showdown. You can acquire up to 300 per week through these methods. Tap the mineral craft button in the event page. Randomly receive crystals of the same type. Consume 10 spark. Collect 5 of the same crystals to claim corresponding rewards. Claim 50 extra sparks upon first entering the event page each week. The weekly spark limit and extra spark reset every Wednesday at 20 UTC. Panda sign in. <laughs> <laughs> During this event, sign in for seven days in total to get rewards, including limited edition accessory and limited edition avatar, Aeon treasure, etc. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Righteous Purge, uh, 25th to October 9th. Gain uh, Lumen Wood by completing quests. During the event, Lumen Rift Wood can be redeemed for rare event rewards finish all daily quests to unlock bonus special rewards there are five groups of challenge quests each unlocking the sequentially at different times completing them will earn you a generous reward redemption for the end of the event um ends the 23rd um fairly in ping light adjustments yes 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 <laughs> um sky high racing update mission and reward adjustment and new track mission system and queen collection mission offer more dimensions to freshen up sky high racing experience you guys can do more of that i know a lot of you enjoy that i love changes to the penguin it's one of my favorite features new preview feature change scenery <laughs> yes a new feature has been added previewing outfits accessory faces hairstyle range weapon skins and melee weapons changing scenery that will allow you i love it default morning midday dusk and night the four different sceneries are similar to those found in game and on the fairyland pangli we hope you like it that these will simulate in-game visual environments helping players create the look they want i love those little tweaks for playstation your playstation sky high racing a uh, number seven event is now open from the 24th to october 30th who can be the top 100 fastest among all of you playstation tournament number 10 is out from september 24th to october 30th as well um tournaments 10 are limited um time you can uh it looks like first to eighth place and you can kind of see that here is the na um as sea and eu times and the dates for everything september 25th um there you guys go aurora season pass the new battle pass is available can be purchased from the 24th to december 19th purchase the season pack to get the following rewards aurora season pack exclusive epic head accessory for kylan advanced hidden treasure card unlock the advanced hidden treasure card of the current season usable during us aurora season or all subsequent seasons uh buys his blessings to get 30 days of that gold 600 and perilous treasure choice times 10 Ah, this is this this is the battle pass we're doing we're finally getting us yes we're finally getting a kawaii battle pass thank you yo give me the cute stuff guys like cute stuff too it's not just me. oh my god it's beautiful i need this outfit <gasps> he's storm back little turd okay okay <laughs> ah, it's so cute oh my god look at the slippers ah! Look at the hair! He's stuck! He's like, ah, I'm stuck in her hair! Oh my, oh 
Oh my gosh, the back. And it's furry. You guys know I'm a sucker for the fluff. <gasps> oh my god, they're fist blades. Look at the paw paws. Dude, why does she have all the cute stuff? Kitty paw paw and now this. Dude, we need like two different people so you can have like kitty paw paw on one side. <gasps> <gasps> oh, look at oh, I love these like old school. Oh, look at the back and the sleeves. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, you're used to watching other people who know Mike their streams when they play Naraka. Oh my god. Yo, Kylan, you got one style and you stick to it. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? It is a nice outfit, though. It's a nice outfit. Oh. Hello? Give me that. Let me see that hang sword. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it on over. Come here. Come here. Come here. <gasps> oh my god, they're so cute! And the scary. Uh, oh, I love the deer antler on it. I like that it's like angular. You know? I like that. Oof. <gasps> are those dual blades? Do we already have the icy dual blades or are they hang swords? Oh, I like the spinning. The spinning. Oh. Oh. At the basket. Ah, I'm going to be like, like Navia. <gasps> look at the beautiful metal work on that. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Look at the base with the fan. Oh, the background's pretty too. Oh. Okay, we got some new hair. Dude, that's like, I feel like karate right up her style. Okay, I'm not gonna wear that mask, but is someone coming at me with that mask on? I'm gonna be scared. Okay, that's kind of fun. A little masquerade going on. Ooh, no po new pose, new pose, new pose. Okay, a little, little, little res. Store updates, Naraka presents. Look at the accessory! Oh my god, he pops out of a bamboo shoot! Oh. <gasps> Look at that mech! It's beautiful! Oh my god, he's so cute! I wanna. I just wanna boop a snoo! Oh, he looks so angry now! Oh my god, and his little tutsers! Oh, so cute! Oh my god, I love the pixelated, like, animation! Oh, and it shoots like bamboo like color. Oh, everything's green. And there's like little grass leaves and stuff. <gasps> oh, and the, the base where it hits is like purple miasma. Look at that. Okay, okay. Ooh, cute. Oh my God, look at the little pixelated effect around like the aura. Oh my gosh, the little dude is so cute. Gosh, it's so cute. I love it. Ah, when she shoots it up into the end. There is so much going on with these animations. <gasps> I love that. Ah, cute. Oh, my wallet. It quakes and shakes in pain and suffering. <sighs> um, The new season and season will end on the 24th today. So it's already over. And if you want to see all of the rewards, let's check those out. This was the end of the season. You guys will get all of your subsequent um, level uh, avatars, as well as Liam's <laughs> epic outfit and um, the Great Sword legendary skin. Oh, my God. I don't know if I grinded enough to get that. I actually don't think I got solar this season. <laughs> whoopsies oh, and there's also epic backgrounds and um treasures for people who uh surpass that immortal war also comes with a canon legendary skin hero badge and treasures you guys can see the points of how you will be uh downgraded and stuff in the patch notes for all the nerd stats make sure you guys uh go check that out yourself uh, it'll be linked down below here adjustments valda adjustments uh to the skill water trap it can be charged by holding the button. After a successful charge, releasing the button will set multiple water bombs with a shorter binding duration. The large water bomb in the center can bind enemies for 1.1 seconds, and the small water bomb around it can bind enemies for 0.5 seconds. Casting the charge move will increase its cooldown time, adjusting the water bomb generated by Water Trap and Water Trap Trinity to bind enemies in gold focus state unless it's skill-based. 
Adjust the duration of Rising Tide unchanged in duos and trio modes from 20 to 25 seconds and solo from 15 to 18 seconds, so both getting a bit of a buff. Um, and Water Spear Hit has been adjusted to 0.1 to 1.0. A huge buff! Enemies bound by Dragon Coil will no longer break free when hit by a Grappling Hook and remove the skill variant Water Trap Array. Remove the skill variant Rising Tide Barrage. For Faria, we're having an adjustment to the Ultimate Mech Mayhem. While the Bronze State clicking the Ultimate button will expand the Bronze Mech Shield, providing a 25% damage reduction effect for nearby and allies for four seconds. Um, slightly reduce the base durability of the bronze mech to match the mech mayhem co-pilot. All bronze mech ultimate variants now allow double jumping and the purifying effect that comes with cannon mode can be charged for um, a two second delay um, to an immediate effect. Adjusting the bullet of gunplay aim to break goal to focus unless it is skill-based and slightly increase the hitbox of the bullets. Optimize the beacon interaction of May uh, Mech Mayhem co-pilot. Now, even if a player is interrupted during the transformation process, after using the beacon, Faria will no longer lose her remaining rage and the beacon will not disappear. Remove the skill variant gunplay scattershot and remove the ultimate Mech Mayhem restore. Now for Zai, adjusted the duration of Flame Ward State to the Flame uh, Ward skill from 2 to 3.5 seconds. Optimize the hit duration of the skill Flame Ward, Firestorm, and slightly increase the attack range of the explosion. For the special vertical strike charge moves, Chain Link of the Ultimate Chain Scythe, adjusted the casting direction uh, to the aiming direction of the crosshair, shortened the startup frames, and optimized the attack range and knockback effects. Remove the skill variant Flame Ward Ignition and remove the ultimate variant Chain Scythe Afflict. For Akos, adjusted the damage of three consecutive Tiger Lunging Strikes of the Ultimate Feral Frenzy from... It's a buff, a little buff. You guys can read the nerd stats there. And slightly increase the stun duration um, these strikes inflict on Vajra, Bronze Mech, and Almighty General. Liam adjusted the flight distance of Arik Core in the Ultimate Metal Fusion Core from 25 to 22 meters. Adjusted the knockback effect uh, suffered by players grabbed by the Arik Core. When they are ultimately released and fly to the furthest points, they will now fall faster after being knocked back. So I guess you're kind of stunned less long. And increase the duration of immunity granted after emerging from it from 3 to 5 seconds. So you can't just be spammed with it. Kurumi adjusted the damage reduction from link target and Kurumi of her vertical strike moves from 70 or 90 to 70 percent while the healing connection lasts. So she got a little bit of a debuff. Weapon adjustments. Unified adjustments for melee weapons. The range used to determine if a counter is successful or not has been expanded to 360 degrees so that now you can counter from behind. Fist blade slightly reduced the stagger time when the crouching horizontal strike hits enemies. Delayed the timing at which attacks can be followed up after releasing charge moves. For spear reworked, the charge horizontal strike slightly increased the knockback of height uh, caused by hitting enemies with the uppercut slash moves and slightly reduce the movement of horizontal strikes while sprinting. Dual wielded weapons optimize the pre-input for transitioning from horizontal strike to crouching and for katana adjusted the horizontal thunder strike move from focus attack to common attack and can be charged. Reduce the damage multiplier from 2.83 to 1.33. Increase the damage multiplier of first stage of the charge vertical strike from these things. <laughs> Um, for the dev notes, the decision making um, after the katana's blink strike has become a bit too monotonous. So we've adjusted the horizontal thunder strike move to a common attack to add more branches to the katana's decision making. Hang sword, reduce the damage multiplier of the first stage of charge vertical strike from 2.47. There you go. It's a little, little bit, little bit, little bit of a nerf. There we go. Um, Soul Jade adjustments, Fist Blade Soul Jade, introducing the new Sky Punch and the new Tempest Kick. Reduce the damage multiplier of Cloud Weaver from these are the nerd stats. You can read them right there. <laughs> Just a little bit. Spear Soul Jade, the last hit of Martial Art Hexa Harmony Spear, a mouthful, can now be charged to another direction. Hang Sword Soul Jade greatly reduced uh, the duration of silence effect caused by hitting it with Aurora Burst. Thank God! <laughs>
Uh, and reduce the multiplier. There's the nerd stats right there. Uh, dual halberds. Reduce the damage multiplier of martial art will ho uh, form hook from these. Increase the recover multiplier from 1.6 to 2.2. So a little bit of a significant increase there. Dagger soul jades. Reduce the damage multiplier of dreadful whale. Dude, it's so deadly since they made it like suck you up. Oh, quite a debuff. Oh, that's like a lot of information here, but there you go. <laughs> that's math. Um, Katana Soul Jade for Soul Slash slightly increase the number of hits and attack duration, reduce the knockback distance, and knock up height caused by hitting enemies, increase the damage multiplier of horizontal strike from this to that, um, and adjusted the damage multiplier of vertical strikes from this to that. You guys can read it and introduce a new Soul Jade called Swift Cut. From the devs, Soul Slash caused knockback too frequently when hitting enemies, making it inconvenient for teammates to cooperate in team play. Therefore, we've optimized the knockback distance and knock up height caused by Soul Slash when hitting enemies, granting potential for better benefits through in team cooperation. That makes sense. In game adjustments, combat item adjustments. Players hit by the White Tiger Prowess Roar now gain a two second immunity to the Roar effect. Obtaining the Draco Storm now restores a certain amount of health, armor, and rage. Immortal War adjustment. The Spirit Well now features Divine Beast powers in third round, just like in the fourth round, and the duration of the buffs gained from capturing Spirit Well in third and fourth rounds has been adjusted to 120 seconds. After Spirit Well spawns, it will only persist for 180 seconds. If not captured within the time, it will disappear. Slightly adjusted the respawn timing of Spirit Wells. In ranked quick match duels or trios, the cost of Rebirth Charms has been reduced yay it's very expensive and out of game adjustments free training adjustments adjusted the order of uh fist blades and relevant soul jades for the profile a section for displaying heroes has been added to the profile page you can display three heroes and their highest associated titles your mini profile has also been updated a new hero score section and new title display have been added to the profile hero stats it added the option to filter by hero score to the hero list on profile hero stats and added a section to profile hero stats showing the match average for each hero's special stat and adjusted the stat shown for Tarka and Matari. For Justice Chamber, remove the limit of number of times a player could participate in Songbird Arena during a celebration. Players can participate as many times now! Yay! They can receive three victories at most for the rewards. Oh, that's nice because there's not very many of us and we get bored. <laughs> Removed the restriction on the number of red packets that could be collected per packet shower. Uh, previously three. Now players can collect as many packets as they can each round. Oh, nice. It doesn't give you that craziest stuff. So that's also nice because it's quite expensive to host those for how little it gave. The first pa three packets the players collect uh, will be counted as advanced red packets uh, with more abundant rewards. Oh, that's fun. Uh, the host of the celebration will get additional red packets based on the number of players that participate in the packet showering. Um, Journey's done. Revamp the event interface, optimize quest content, and adding a coming soon feature allowing players to view game modes or features that are about to unlock. That's nice. It's nice getting to know stuff before it happens so it's not just like BAM BAM! Information overload, bam, bam, <laughs> like, like my videos. Um, hero score changes. Current hero score, hero score from ranked mode and hero score from Immortal War. Oh, plus to then equal that. Oh, that's a big change. Okay, some hero score will be carried over in the season with a greater percentage of hero score carrying over a lower levels. The maximum possible rank score that can carry over from Aeon season will be 6,300. Immortal War will be set to zero. Both modes have a threshold for hero score. As long as your hero scored from the mode is below the threshold, you will gain hero score faster. And detailed rules. Your hero score threshold for ranked modes depends on your rank. With a maximum number of 5,000, your hero score threshold for Mortal War is based on the current uh, Mortal War score. Mortal War rank score 3,000 with a maximum number of 4,000. I don't know why my PC is floating. And then hot potato <laughs> counter. Adjust the XP players can earn from that. Showdown. Oh my god, there's so many patch notes. Okay, we're gonna go through showdown adjustments really quickly. Okay. And if you want to know better, you gotta read them because these are very long. Showdown event level, suffer no demon. Event duration from ooh, 
whole event just for it from the 25th to the 9th. During the event, you select this level on the showdown map, complete all event quests, and get exclusive hero badge, exhilarating elixir, and other rewards. While in Suffer No Demon, sense level defense differences with no impact on damage dealt and damage received. Suffer No Demons is split into two characters corresponding to the brand new Auspicious Omens. Using the Auspicious Omens offered by each chapter will let you defeat any monster you face with ease. Mystic Waters. With this exclusive Water Spear Auspicious Omen, using Hero Skill summons a barrage of Water Spears, delivering wide-range attack and swiftly clearing the field. Mwahaha! Chapter 2, Toxic Shroud. With the exclusive Miasma Burst, Auspicious Omen, Fallen Monsters release a Toxic Mist, infecting nearby foes and triggering a devastating chain reaction. This change will have its own Soul Jade drop, and it's appropriate for trying to collect certain Soul Jades. Um, chapter 1, Ice Break, Sub-Zero Seal, Thunderproof, Thunder Counter, Thunder Bull, and Spring's Call. For Chapter 2, Cyan Fang, Poison Wielding, Renewed Vigor, Noxious Blast, Miasma Drive, Pestilent Pool, and Infectious Tosh. Chapter 1 will be uh, available immediately after the event begins, and then Chapter 2 on October 2nd. Enigma Peak made available in this season. Enigma Peak features three types, Thunder Wielding, Ice Wielding, and Poison Wielding. This will be available from September 26th onward. Um, in the Enigma Peak Showdown, Soul Jades draw by various kinds. If you defeat a certain number of bosses in a single match, you will also receive the legendary Soul Jade Choice Gift, exclusive achievements, and so on. Some bosses will have special moves. Uh, ooh, that's cool that they have special moves. Okay. Auspicious omens corresponding to the elements have been added to the Enigma Peak, making it easier to deal with them using the appropriate Soul Jades. <laughs> Combat adjustments optimize the AI for coordinated attacks between different types of monster. Optimate oh, the different monsters are coordinating now. No, <laughs> optimize the move transition of Honest Bow and added some new combos in Vine Mirror. Optimize the knockback distance. Okay, Neridi's ruin adjustments. This is a lot. We're almost to the end, though, boys. We're almost there. It's fine. Reduce the attack of monsters in solo mode on night screen and legend. Div Thank God. Thank God. It's only in solo mode, though. Okay. Change the reperson face counter in the Dorini Codex to uh, discarding two Enigma rings to obtain one. Increase the probability of obtaining higher quality or higher level uh, in encounters. New beginnings one. Only the strong and repurpose. Adjusted the logic for appearance of the Thunder Call charm and. Uh, Varus related options in the Nerudi Codex increase the probability of useless rocks appearing. What? What even are those? I didn't even know. Small amount of Dark Tide coins can now be attained when giving this secret anima ring yielding by a certain Nerudi Codex. Um, eradicating the evil and strike it rich of Nerudi Codex will no longer appear in the 13th arena. Slightly adjusted the spawn location of the Nerudi Codex in the shop area. Increase the frostbite added to the frostbite blessing to trigger. Um, increase the anima mighty call heal, diffuse heal, element heal, agus break assault, and damage damage reduction. Adjusted the burn damage caused by hydro flare blessing one melee attack and then adjusted the burn damage inflicted on enemies by hydro flare scorch cloud weapon adjust the burn damage inflicted on enemies by wildfire the burn damage dealt per second to enemies in the fire blaze caused by level one and two diffuse flame has been adjusted as well the duration of all the burn effects has been reduced hero adjustments change kurumi again this is showdown change kurumi horizontal strike from thunder strike to the horizontal strike finisher after she resolved an attack by diffuse solve moved forward the timing of which Yushan martial skill lightning hooves can be dodged and interrupted function adjustment added the current and other in the equipment soul jade and hero name uh who has the soul jade equipped it will be displayed in the tips and soul jade consistent with the display and selecting the bonus soul jade on the soul jade bonus page added the feature to deconstruct individual soul jades added a deconstruct option to the dial to appear with clicking on soul jade so you don't have to do like three or five the store the store the store new packs added zipping yin exclusive flushed snow pack you guys can check it out it's got an outfit it's got a hairstyle and it's got an accessory and it's on sale way over half percent off go check it out new discounts uh feria legendary accessory verdant bamboo breeze we have a legendary mark of victory eat some bamboo a legendary kill announcement panda master oh my god Feria pose, hopping around. Kylan, Demon Slayer. Tep, uh, Tessa, Epic pose, Enchanting Charm. Valda pose, uh, Leaning on Railing. Uh, uh, Feria background, Verdant Guardian, Serene Sky.
guys inferia base vertingaria and roly poly um new type of store for extreme hairstyles dun 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 We've got newly added extreme hairstyle in the shop where Karumi's extreme hairstyle petal reverie is now available. Um, this is very complicated. Uh, it takes 50 cloud mirror plus 60 floral dew to redeem the petal. Obtaining it will grant you the exclusive debut pose, cherry breeze, and bubble Karumi falling blossom. The price of the cloud mirror is 300 gold. There is a chance to get floral dews by opening Herald dye cream random gifts from the battle pass and floral dues can be traded in the steam community market or bought in game for 250 gold please note the floral dues cannot be traded with console so it's only a pc thing each floral dew can be redeemed for five dye creams in shop items new season treasure returns during the event tenacity treasure will return for the limited time probably to match the Karumi hairstyle, I think that's the one. The content of the drop rate of rewards and treasure will remain unchanged. The number of times to trigger a guaranteed all treasures will not reset. Go to the pavilion for more details. Hero related bugs. Fix an issue where Sheol way skill. Um, uh, rush sometimes could not hit. Battle related bugs. Fix an issue where the anima ring enhanced thunderbolt and hydro flare enhancement did not match their description. And PlayStation optimization. Uh, optimized rendering related memory usage. Whoa, we did it! And that was September 24th, 2024's patch notes. Are you guys excited for the Aurora season? Season 14. If you guys are enjoying the content and want to keep up to date with all the Naraka news, uh, make sure you slap that subscribe button and let me know down below what you're most excited for this season. As well as check out the Twitch channel to keep up to date with all the content we're making over here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.